Hello YouTube, in this video I will go over how to load environment variables in a Svelte Kit application. Svelte Kit uses Vite under the hood for bundling your web app, and Vite comes with .env package already pre-configured. This makes it super easy for you to load environment variables in your application. Without further ado, let's get started. I have already created a Skeleton Svelte Kit app with TypeScript enabled. So let's just run it, just to make sure that everything is running correctly. All right, so in order to add um, an environment variable, all you need to do is create a new file called .env on your root directory. And the environment variable goes in here and just has to be prefixed with feet. So let's just say feet test var, hello YouTube. And then in our Svelte app or Svelte file, we just add it here so we can say let and var equals import.meta dot env dot vit test var. And then let me just go get rid of this one and I'll add it here and var. And there you go. And, and you can see now we loaded the environment variable into the project. Keep in mind that if you use variables on the client side, it can be leaked. Right, so we this can be either run on the side, uh, the client or the server side. Um, so if you are going to be using a secret variable here, make sure to to run this the import on the server side and not on the client side. And I want to show you guys one more thing. If you are using TypeScript, which I am, and you want to have IntelliSense support uh, for your V environment variables, that's supported out of the box. Um, so instead of displaying here any, we can make this into a string. So all you need to do is create a new file here called env.d.ts. And in the V documentation, they show you that you just need to add this, uh, extend the import meta env interface. So I'm just going to copy and paste here. Uh, so this will be called Oops. Test env. And this seems not to be working. It's because um, the env.d.ts has to go to the source file or folder. And there you go. And that's how you add TypeScript support or IntelliSense support to your environment variables. I have linked the V documentation in the GitHub repository in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.